are back. I mean, we're filming this like right after the tag, yeah, so. but it's not gonna go up till later. So we're doing our haul. We went shopping today. It was so much fun. I so love shopping fun. with Elle. I'm like so sad that you don't live here all the time. I know. I seriously want to move over here. We would just shop all the time. It would be beautiful. Okay, let's get started. What store do you want to start in? Definitely Sephora. Yeah. I have a big old bag. She took all of her stuff. They actually her gave me a big bag this time. Last time they gave me a tiny I remember, little bag. Like a bag this big. I was like, what? so much stuff. I know. Too. I it think was, more than this time. It was really strange. She actually filmed a haul video, right? We did a collaboration a haul video. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, mine was a, was mine a haul too? Yeah. You had drugstore and. Oh yeah. yeah. Mine was like a collab because it was with Blair too. <laughs> I don't need to explain all this. Okay. We both got these. It has mint in it, so I like that. It does. Even though I'm not a big fan of mint. You I had really a mojito it. today. I mint. really don't like mint. It's so refreshing too. It's perfect for summer. And these are the little size. This was in the um, shout line yeah. of Sephora. Also. Once again, they got us with these two. Right? You got these at the very last minute. Yes, both of them. They were both like grab us products. Like we weren't gonna get them and then we did. So we were done shopping. We were like, okay, that's enough. Like we have to stop. And then on the way to the counter, they always get you at Sephora with all those cute little products. You know what, I, I wouldn't have even picked this up. This and is all you. Yeah, this is super, tell it me this is It looks like a little thing ever. like dinky mirror. It's like travel friendly. This is so adorable. It's so little. I love it. It also could like yeah. fit in a clutch. Yeah. Like I it's think so little. Every palette should be like this like they should have the big normal version and then if you want to travel instead of mm -hmm. doing like a huge palette they should make a mini version of it why would you ever need to take eyeshadow in your clutch though just to touch it up maybe you're never gonna touch your <laughs> eyeshadow with your clutch well if you don't use a good uh, eye primer no, <laughs> a product that i picked up was the makeup forever hd high definition and i just ran out of it so i had to get myself another bottle it makes my skin look so flawless and if I have like an event to go to, this is my go-to foundation. Actually, in the haul that we collabed on before, I got that foundation and she was telling me how she wore it on like her wedding day and yeah. her wedding pictures and how it was yeah. just the most amazing foundation. And I had actually tried it like way, way back in the day. I'd been stuck on my Laura for so long yeah. that I just needed to try something new. I got this totally on a whim. This was not premeditated. I don't know why I got this. We were in the Kat Von D aisle. I was and looking for the palette, for the concert palette. They were sold out everywhere, which sucks, but yeah. we found something good for her. Well, I mean, did we? Or did I get suckered into like a, <laughs> why did I? I mean, I'm excited to try it, yes, yeah. but it also was like a very strange purchase. I got the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. I think what's happening right now is because the Laura Mercier Silk Cream, which I'm absolutely in love with, she is my soulmate. Um, I think because that one just got reformulated, I know that it's not gonna be the same because that happened to me ages ago with Clinique. It's never the same when it's reformulated. So I'm like trying to be proactive by finding another holy grail That's before so I run out of my Laura, yeah. which I, I bought six backups of it. So, you know, <laughs> I'm good for a while, but I got this one. I have heard that this stuff is like the fullest coverage to it a It definitely fault. looks like it. It's full coverage, 24 hour wear, matte finish, oil free. Oil transfer free. resistant yeah oil free nice. for all skin types yeah i'll let you know how it is so i'll go back we also both picked up the beauty blender blender cleanser solid something it's i was like so curious sponge. about this i've never tried this either but i've recently kind of gotten into my beauty blender and i read that this was good especially for traveling which like we have a theme going on and that's travel friendly things um it looks like this it's, it looks what like a solid shampoo bar from lush I don't even it know how to use nice. this, but you guys know how difficult it is to clean your beauty blender, like just with yeah. regular soap and water. Yeah. I, it drives me nuts. It smells really yeah. good. It's kind it of does. herbal and nice. Oh, it smells really good. So I've been trying to take care of my hair more lately, and I read that if you brush your hair at, like after a shower um, while it's still wet, but you have to do it with a white comb tooth. To white wet. tooth. <laughs> so if you shower and then you brush your hair with the wide toothed comb. Okay, then it'll um, actually detangle your hair. So I got this, it was really cheap and it's really cute, it's small. It was only $6, I thought that was very impressive. I always use impressive. a wide tooth comb, yeah, so, that's amazing. had to pick that up. We wanted the Kat Von D contour palette, yeah. which is why we were in the Kat Von D aisle and I got suckered into the, getting that foundation. But I ended up getting the contour palette from Anastasia instead. Um, now, I have heard that this one is incredible. I haven't heard anything about the Kat Von D one. I did want to pick that one up in my skin tone. You have light and medium, right? right yeah, light and medium. you were going to get medium deep. Yeah. So we'll see I how I don't know why she out. didn't. This is going to be like the Christian Dior okay. from the Rose. 
Is Where, it? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I picked it up because last time yep. I didn't, and I did regret it. You already used that. it. Is that yours? You used it, so it's in my bathroom. Oh, okay. I got a slew of eye products, which is a bit crazy because I actually am a huge believer in the drugstore mascaras. Yeah, me too. Pinecone's crying. That's what he does. Aww, can, can I go I give him? Yeah. Okay. Mommy, mommy, where are you? Oh my god, he's so cute. He's a baby little thing. He's like a teddy bear. He is like a teddy bear. Oh, he's so soft. Oh my god. Yeah. Michael, you are so cute, cute and sleepy. <laughs> okay, you can just sit right there. Yeah. I am a huge believer in the drugstore mascaras. They are amazing. just as good, yeah. if not better, than yeah. high-end mascaras. Like, I am obsessed with drugstore mascaras. But these are three products that I have wanted to try for a really long time and I'm kind of, I've been on a lash kick lately because I realized how my lashes just aren't very good. Mine either. I go through phases where I feel like a certain mascara doesn't, I like guess, I give me that not volume been maybe? wowed by yeah. mascara. So I'm like looking for a holy grail and these three products are products that have been on my wish list for a really long time and I just have never like committed to getting them because they're high end. I convinced her to get this one, the um, Better Than Sex Mascara. She did. Yeah. This was on my list and she saw me looking at it and I just decided to try it. I also got the Dior Show Lash Plumping Primer. So this is like the white um, primer. I'm not gonna open it yet because I don't want to break the seal oh, but so it's pretty. white. I know, Dior has like the best yeah. packaging. Um, and the thing that I love about this is that I've never been like a huge primer girl for lashes. They always make my lashes look gray and I know you're supposed to. Mine do too. I cannot I get them black it. afterwards. Yeah. But this one I specifically bought because you can use it as a deep conditioning treatment for your lashes at night. Like you can wear it to bed and it says that it's intensive deep conditioner. I feel like my lashes need to be conditioned and maybe they'll grow. And I also got the Dior It Lash Mascara in black, which is, I think their newest one because it was on like a little display. They had all their mascaras and then this one was like featured. And I heard that this one was really good too, so I wanted to give it a try. That was everything I got. Do you have any more products from Sephora? Um, I got one last thing, and this is the Miss Dior perfume and I actually mentioned this in the last video that yep. we filmed together and it just smells so amazing. I had the sample size and I absolutely loved it so much that I had to get the full size and it's just so pretty to look at. Oh, Pineco. Look how playful he is. He really is. And then we both went to the beauty store. It's literally called the beauty Christy. store. It was Christy at the Beverly Center. Store. And we wanted to do eye masks. And we didn't know which one to choose, so I chose one. And I brand, chose one. And she chose and the they other one. And each have three. Yeah. And we're gonna like we're just gonna switch them. one. See which one works better. So we can try them both. We thought that was fun. I have puffy eye eyebrows. <laughs> I have puffy under bags. Eyes by To Go Spa. Sure. Energy drink for your face. It lifts, Ooh. brightens, deep puffs, and moisturizes. And I got the Satin Smooth Ultimate Collagen Under Eye Lift Masks. So three milk and honey collagen masks. I also picked up one product from the Lancome counter at Macy's. This is the La Base eyeshadow base, basically, in the color 2. And I just read that this was really good. I, I love Urban Decay Primer Potion and Too Faced Shadow Insurance and the NARS one that we both got. I like got. that one since you recommended it. Like but that. they don't give your eyelids any coverage. Like mm -hmm. It preps your eyes for eyeshadows, but if you want my eyelids are very translucent, and so I feel like okay. I need a little bit of so, like, like cover it up before you put the eyes. So I don't have to put foundation on it, really. Right. So that's what this is. It's a little bit. It's almost like a Mac paint pot, but it's supposed to be better and like help not. I feel like it'll shadows. really make your eyeshadow pop, pop out by yeah. giving it that little bit of a base. So yeah. got that. And we went on a hunt for that. Let me just say we did. I think we went to like three different stores. We did. And everybody was sold out out of it. So and then the Macy's found counter had yeah. every color. Like Bloomingdale's didn't have any of the colors and stuff. I was disappointed. I'm like, come on Bloomingdale's. And they looked in their system and they were like, we don't have any in California. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> right? <laughs> the very last store we went to is Victoria's Secret because I needed to get a new bikini and so I got this one. And she showed it in the last video too and it was so pretty. I, I love the little rhinestones. And I love the colors. Yeah. I just think it's so beachy. And then these are the bottoms. And then beauty wise, I also got a new scent. You guys know I love my Pure love Seduction. 
but this is called Love Addict, and I had never smelled this one. It's Wild Orchid and Blood Orange. It smells oh my so God. good. It smells really good. It smells so good. Did you get the set? Yeah. What yeah. is this? So I got one body wash, and then I got two of these because I love it. Oh my god. These goodness. are the bath oils, cleansing shower and bath oil. I went through an entire bottle of the Pure Seduction one. The reason I switched to this scent is because they didn't have the bath oil in Pure Seduction. They only had this scent. So I went ahead and did like the whole collection in the scent. Got two of these because I was so upset that I ran out of it. I it put this in the bath. It smells so good. Oh my God. What I like about this is that because it's like a cleansing oil, you can also use it as a body wash. And so when I'm taking a bath, sometimes I feel like I feel cleaner after using this than like a lush bubble bar. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Like I just think sometimes I'm in the mood for just like an oily, You just want like to feel really clean and like, and yeah. this stuff is perfect and it smells so good. It, it makes your whole bathroom smell good. It smells delicious. I love the packaging too. It's so girly and cute. Like it'll look really cute in your bathroom. So that was everything that we got in this haul. We are going to go ahead and film a planner tag video for her channel. That's fine going. So go ahead and make sure that you head on over. Well, actually that video is already up. You guys yeah, have already seen it. Up. So we're going to film it right now, but you guys already see it. I'm going to link it below. And if you guys like our videos together, we will film more because she visits LA a lot. So yeah. let us know in a comment below if you guys want to see more videos. Yeah. Use the hashtag Alinda so Alinda, that we know. Alinda. Yeah, and check out her video that we're going to go film right now. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye. Mwah.